Okay, now we're gonna work a little bit on core. Do you guys know what planks are? Okay, do a forward plank. Yeah, on face facing the, the stance here. There we go. This one, depending on the level of ability of your athlete, I would not demand anything less than 30 seconds, but if you can get them up to 90, that's awesome. Okay, you go and make sure. Check with everybody. Sam, let's bring your thighs up a little bit. There you go. And then Casey, you're gonna need to bring your butt down a little bit. Good, sorry. I have plain terminology. Try to make sure that they keep straight knees on their toes. Head should be in a neutral position, much like what basically everybody has here. Okay, on your side, pick a side. And Sam, can I have you do it on, on the stretched out arm? You're on the side, yeah, just like that, okay? And it might be easier if you stick your hand out. So you can either do it on a straight arm or a bent arm. And the key is to, half of this exercise is really a psychological thing to where athletes, yeah, they start dropping their hips. Keep your hip up, keeping it straight. You can put your arm out if you like, or you can keep it off to the side, okay? So it's the same thing, it's 30 to 90 seconds each time. You'd probably do that three times. Okay, go ahead and get down, guys. Sorry, forgot. Okay, the next thing we have is called a push-up clock. So, oh, it's no push-ups involved, though. It's just going in circles. So you guys are going to need lots of room. Let's spread out all over. And the key is, listen to what's going on. The key is you go in a push-up position, leave your feet in the same area, and it's your hands that move you around in a circle. All right, let's give it a shot. Yes, go. Pretty simple movement. This is really good. Usually I have one person who likes to move their feet around their hands. So you can do one or two full rotations in one direction, rotation in the other direction. Okay, and stop. The next thing I have, um, basically the final drill or exercise we can do, and this is like a lot of Pilates based as well. Um, let's, you guys can choose whether you do it on your hands and knees or like in the push-up position. So get in position and I want you to lift your opposite leg and hand. So if you're lifting, that's it, hold it. We might hold it for two or three seconds, then bring it back down and then switch. Head in a neutral position, opposite arm and leg, opposite arm and leg. Good. And depending on the, the ability of, of their core strength and everything will determine how well they're going to be able to do this. You can time how long they can stay in that position and keep that as, as a maintenance level or to increase that. 